What's up YouTube, back with another video and today I just wanted to review a pair of shoes that I bought late last year. I hadn't had a chance to actually do a review on these. I actually haven't even wore these as of yet, but I'm excited to bring these to you. Uh, I think it's a really, really dope collaboration between Converse and Pigal. I bought these pair back in late 2019 and uh, haven't had a chance to wear them, haven't had a chance to review them either. And so uh, I just wanted to to show you guys the actual shoe. Went on YouTube, it's not a lot of whole, it's not too many videos out there that uh, is reviewing this shoe or doing it on foot. So wanted to bring that to you guys to kind of, you know, let you see the actual shoe on foot and to see the quality of the product. Uh, this is the Converse and Pigalle collaboration. Now I have a funny story about this particular shoe, right? Um, when these dropped, they hit, the Nike sneaker app store. And so I pretty much knew they were gonna be, you know, um, hard to get and it was gonna be some hype beast out there or, you know, just a lot of people out there trying to cop these. But um, they had this pair and then they had the majority all white pair. If you know about this pair, I'm sure you know about the other one because it was two pair that dropped at the same time. They sold out on sneakers app within minutes both pairs of these shoes sold out. But the funny thing was, on the Converse website, they weren't selling at all. They actually were just sitting there and nobody was buying them. So I ordered both of these shoes, um, the one with the lightning print and the one that was the majority all white. And I was able to it confirm, my confirmation was for both of them. Then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, it took a long time for them to actually ship. Once they shipped and got to me, um, there was only these in the box. The white ones weren't in the box. And I'm just like, okay, like y'all literally just forgot my pair of shoes. So I called Converse and they're like, oh no, um, we didn't charge you for them. But yeah, we sold out of the white ones. So we only shipped you the, the ones with the lightning print. And so they didn't even notify me. There was no cancellation email. There was no sorry. They sold out, none of that. And then all of a sudden, about maybe three weeks after these dropped, Converse or Nike or whoever took all of them off the website. The only maybe two or three sizes that sold out were like an 11 pair, maybe a size 12 or size 11, maybe an 11 and a half. The rest of the sizes were all in stock. And then all of a sudden, three weeks later, all of them disappeared off the Converse website. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know why they retracted them or, or took all of those out. But um, yeah, these didn't stay out too long. And I mean, you can cop them off StockX and Goat. I, I've seen them as cheap as like a hundred bucks, cheaper than retail. So I don't think they're that as that popular now. I just think the hype for them was, a, was really big when they first dropped. But this is it, man. This is the actual... You can still see, even though it's June 2020, um, I have not touched this shoe at all. Still has the tags. But I'm going to tell you, this is a dope sneaker. Definitely a fun colorway for the summer. Um, when I rock Converse's, I don't usually wear socks with them. So I, I'm definitely going to wear these with, with no socks at all. Uh, even has the, uh, you know, the different multiple colors on the, on the sole. Um... The thing about these also though, is they, the weird thing about them is they run a little bit large. I wear a, sorry, I wear a size 12 in pretty much all of my shoes. Um, pretty much every single shoe. Converse run a lot larger, so I have to go down a full size. So these are a size 11, which is what I normally wear in Converse. But I need a 10 and a half in these, to be honest with you, because they run that large. Um, but yeah, man, this is pretty much it. Not going to make a whole long review. I mean, you, they've been out for a while. You've pretty much seen these, but I just kind of wanted to do a more in-depth, uh, closer, and on-foot review of these guys. And again, I mean, the colorway, you can pretty much match with anything because the majority of the upper is blue. So anything you got with blue, you'll be good. But then you got this um, mint green um, laces and on the toe box, you got a hint of yellow in here. You got a hint of orange in here. You got a hint of burgundy in here. So, I mean, really, I mean, you got white, of course. So you could go with pretty much anything and rock this shoe, you know, for the most part on there. So... <laughs> Oh,
guys, just wanted to give you an up close review of these. Kind of give you an on foot, let you see how they look. Definitely still a nice sneaker. Um, just kind of keep in mind, they do run a little bit large. So if you normally wear whatever size in your Converse or your Chucks, um, you might want to go down a half a size, but it also depends on how you wear your shoes. Uh, right now with no socks, they fit perfect. But if I were to put a sock on, even a thin sock in here, it would definitely be a little tight for a size 11. You could go with your size and you know, you'd probably be okay, but just keep in mind that they run a little bit larger than your normal chucks, but not too much larger. So just wanted to throw that out there as well. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I will check you out on the next video. Peace.